am Tammy with It's All About the Dogs, and I'm here with Noel Blair at Positive Directions Canine Academy, and we're here with Lucy today. Yes. Lucy is going to get her nails trimmed. She got a bath the other day, or well, a pretend bath. So, because <laughs> she got pretend skunk. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about how to trim your dog's nails, and I don't trim Lucy's nails. I have a professional groomer trim her nails because. I cut into the clip one time and it really is she has black nails mm -hmm. and I know people have issues when they have dogs with black nails that's a big problem mm -hmm. and it freaked me out I think that trimming nails is probably the number one pet owner fear probably um, they would just as soon pretend that there are no nails as opposed to having to trim the nails but it doesn't need to be a stress-filled situation well and I've seen dogs with nails that are like because nobody wants to trim them and that's horrible it's horrible how what's the effects of that that's that causes all kinds of problems it really does if you've ever had sore feet it makes your whole body sore it's all you can think about is just getting off of them and mm -hmm. dogs um, feel the same way the way to tell if your dog's nails need a trim is if the toenails are touching the ground if they're touching the ground it's definitely time for a trim um, so what we want to do is take a look and as you can see or maybe you can't see we're going to do some close-ups here in just a second um lucy's nails are touching the floor so it's definitely time for a nail trim now um in the history of dogs i have never heard of a dog who died from a nail trim never <laughs> never okay. never maybe good an owner know. had a heart attack but i've never heard that's good of to a know. dog dying from a they, nail trim they, some of them might scream the bloody Yes. You know, yes. Like, yes. I've had a few of those. But. If, and if you have a dog who resists the process, do one nail at a time. And then at night while you're watching TV, um, start rubbing here in the shoulder and just work your way down the leg um, until they're calm and relaxed. And then try to trim the nail. And Lucy's not calm right now because she's obsessed with the cats that are in the cage over there. Yes. Positive Directions <laughs> has a couple of rescue cats, Gomez and Morticia. Well maybe show you them one day but she's fixated on the kitties she is, so so the difference between a black nail and a white nail is that black nails have a longer quick and they're stronger oh okay, okay. um the clear nails or the white nails have a shorter quick and they're easier to trim and you can see the quick in the short and nails. you can see the yeah, quick the yes ones. yeah believe it or not you can actually see the quick in the black nails but people don't know how to look for it i don't know how to look Yes. Yeah. So um, one thing that I like about Lucy is she's still got her, her dew claws, so we're going to be able to show you how to trim the dew claws. Those um, never hit the pavement, and those are the ones that cause the most problems because they'll curl around. And I've actually um, seen dogs with the nail embedded into the skin. Oh, that's so painful. And it just looks so, so painful. Yeah. So back to what um, problems it causes with having long, long toenails is it actually stretches the tendons. Once those tendons are stretched, they don't go back the way that they were supposed to be. And feet are shaped um, the way that they're shaped for a particular reason. Um, some feet are shaped like um, rabbits. They call that a hare foot. That foot is built for speed. So if you think about um, like greyhounds. Um, some English setters. Yeah, like that yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, and then there's other feet that are nice and tight and kind of cat-like. Like these, <laughs> like hers. Yeah, and those are endurance feet. And then you have a combination of the two where the the middle two toes are forward, but it's still kind of a, a nice, tight, compact foot. So that's a dog who's built for um, short bursts of speed and doing their job all day long. So anyway, um, we don't want to misshape the foot. The flatter it gets, the more painful it gets because now the, the bones are actually touching the floor as opposed to the pads. Wow. So, yeah. I always learn something new. And you've got a whole plethora of tools over here. I do. So I have a bunch of different tools. Um, the first thing that I would recommend is that you have something on hand in case you accidentally quick your dog. So Tammy mentioned a minute ago oh, yeah. that she did that and it was traumatic for her and I'm sure it was traumatic for the dog. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some household items that you can use. Flour or cornstarch is great. What you would do is just wet your finger, dip it in the cornstarch or the flour, press it against the nail. You're gonna hold it for about 15 seconds or a count of 15, and then you'll let it go and then put the dog up in a crate so that they're not walking around and breaking that open again. Give it about an hour or so to heal over and then they should be good to walk around the house. Okay, okay. Cool. or a styptic pencil if you have one. Yep, there. styptic pencils work great or they also have a styptic powder that you can use. Um, another great tool is if you've got matches around the house, light the match, blow it out, and then put the hot end um, that you just blew out against there and it'll cauterize. 
Nice. The nail. So yeah. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into the tools. All right. So. As you can see, I've got several here. This first one is um, a guillotine clipper. The way that this clipper works is there's a little metal piece when you squeeze that comes up just like a guillotine and it's meant to shave little pieces of nail off. These are usually pretty easy to um, use, but what I don't like about them is they're not good for taking off big chunks. If you take off big chunks, it tends to rip the nail as opposed to cutting the nail. And that's painful. So, yeah. yeah. So this would be kind of like a cheese slicer. The, the thinner the slice, the better this clipper is okay. going to work. Okay. Um, this one um, is like a scissors clipper. Okay. And what's nice about this is it works great on nails that are really hard. So dogs that weigh over 50 pounds have really tough nails. Oh, yeah. And um, this is going to get through them because this is kind of a power grip. Some tools actually have um, a little safety guard on them, the little metal piece that, that fits here. Don't trust the safety guard because it doesn't know where your dog's quick is. <laughs> it's just a metal piece. So um, don't think that if you put the nail in and it's touching the safety guard, it's safe It's to gonna trip. magically work. It doesn't do that. <laughs> It doesn't work. Yeah. So it's best to just remove that little safety guard and get it out of there. Then the next one that I've got here is a Dremel. And as you can see, this is just a regular Dremel that you might have on your husband's tool bench. Just go out and steal it. Make sure you put it back so you don't get in trouble. Get one at Harbor Freight. You can get your own at Harbor Freight or, or 20 bucks, or Amazon or wherever we'll you want to go. We'll drop a link on Amazon uh, where you can get this because they're, they're pretty easy to get. Now, I bought years ago one that was made for dogs and it was really expensive. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly the same thing as this. Well, so. it is and it isn't. The ones that are made for dogs have a very weak motor and so they turn really slow. And that doesn't do very And at heart, I, you could take an emery board and get them done faster. So. Well, Save I your money. In the trash, so. <laughs> Save your money get and right get yourself one. a um, a Dremel because that's that's what's going to work. And then the other two things that I have here, I've got scissors and I've got a slicker brush. And I'm going to show you how to trim the hair on the feet so that if there's hair sticking out, especially on the bottoms of the feet, it makes it really hard for your dog to grip the floor, and they could slip, slide, fall down, and hurt themselves more easily if there's hair sticking out of the bottoms of their pads. So we're going to just do one foot from start to finish, and um, I'll let Tammy I'll get her camera, camera so that you can... Lucy's feet, this is really good because she's got black and white nails on one foot. So, awesome. So we're going to be using that as an example. Take if she will baby. stay still. Mom was leaving. Mom's not leaving. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you with these clippers um, the first technique, which is to shave. Now, when you are clipping your dog's nails, you want to put them up on a surface above the floor. And then we want to take the foot and we're going to push it into her body and turn it upside down so that I can actually see the bottoms of her toenails. Um, if I try to trim her nails like this, then we end up fighting back and forth. I don't know if you can tell, but she's really pulling her, her leg back. So this is where the fight comes in. This is relaxed and I'm gonna be able to trim her nail down. So, um, woo, girlfriend, she's like, I'm out of here. She is not happy about All right. this, so. Sit. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this in and we're gonna trim this nail right here. Can you see that? Not really, there we go. Okay, so this one was that guillotine clipper that I talked about that's meant to shave little tiny pieces off. So that's exactly how it works, is it just shaves off. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Little pieces, okay? If I try to take a big piece, see how it, it gets stuck yeah, it and it kind of rips. Way. This one is the scissor one. And what I'm going to do, I am on this nail, you can see where the quick's at. So I'm gonna reach in here and I'm gonna trim right before that quick. And it just cuts it right off without ripping and tearing. Then, if you want to, you can use your Dremel. Come on, Dremel. To kind of round and shape the nail so we can get it right up next to the quick without actually quicking the dog. You can also use this on all of the nails. So for example, you would just put it here and we're just gonna shave the nail back a little bit at a time. Don't hold it there and keep it there because this will get hot on your dog's nail. So it's important that you just 
shaved little pieces just like this. And so this is my favorite way to do it because I can get the black nail right where I need it to be without worrying about cooking my dog. We lost it. <laughs> Man down! All right. I'm going to do the same thing here. And then on this last one, I'm going to talk to you about what to look for. So, on this nail, you want to trim where it starts to bend. Here, can you see there's a thicker part of the nail and then a thinner part? That part right there is where we want to trim. So I'm going to get it right up to the thick part and trim. Then I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm going to round and chase this toenail so that I'm right against the quick and there's no rough edges on the dog. The way that you get your dog used to the Dremel is you just simply turn it on and let them lick some peanut butter off a spoon. And then um, as they start to get used to that, then you turn it on low and just let them kind of feel it or touch it. Well, okay. and see, uh, Lucy's groomer does use a Dremel. Perfect. So that's Yeah, good. and she's, she's used, used to it. To it. Mm -hmm. She's just not happy right now because she wants, she wants those cats. cats. All right. <laughs> Come here. You, you got her? Okay. Come here. All right. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush all of this hair up on the top of her foot. And all we're going to trim is this hair that's sticking up. on these scissors. So I'm just trimming the top here. Okay. Then I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to brush this and you're going to trim the hair around each pad on the foot so that it's even with the black pad. Just like this. You don't want to go between the toes because if you do, it's going to make your toes look um, like they're open um, or splayed. So now she's going to be able to grip the floor with her pads, just like they were intended. And um, the foot is going to look so much cleaner and nicer than this other foot. Can yeah. you guys see the difference? For sure. Okay. Awesome. All right, should we put her off the table? We should put her off the table. I'll let you do that while I set the camera back okay. down. <laughs> that works. Okay, got it. Awesome. Beautiful. So that in a nutshell is how to trim your dog's nails. Um, there is a, a video going around on Facebook that is kind of um, a bad idea. It's somebody wrapped um, saran wrap around their head and they put peanut butter here. Oh, that's, I saw And that. they started trimming the nails and if, that's, if you quick your dog and you hurt them, they might snap. And might you the last head. thing that you want is the snapping mechanism right next to your face. So <laughs> that was just not a good idea. Know, yeah. Yes, peanut butter works great. So if you need to have somebody hold peanut butter on a spoon or smear peanut butter on your table so that they can sit there and lick it while you're you're um, trimming the, the nails. So, All right, well, we'll let her go back to her cat obsession. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll put links to Positive Directions Canine Academy and uh, some other uh, Life's Abundance uh, for pets and some other things. So if you're interested in any of these tools, they'll also be linked down there. So awesome. Yay. Thank you. We'll be back.